This is the Pearson work holding manual pallet changer and I'm going to show a few different ways in this video that we use this manual pallet changer, different pallets that we've made. Here this is showing the mounting on the table so it comes with these clamps that and screws that uh, attach it very securely to the table. We just leave it on the table most of the time and rarely remove it. This is the air valve that comes with it and here's the airline going in. We've covered it up with this shrink, heat shrink tubing at the entrance there just to keep it clean from chips. And this pallet has actually been machined as a fixture to hold onto these knife handles. The handles are pinned in place and screwed in from the back and so they are very securely attached. This donut machine into the plate is our X, Y, and Z zero. These machine flats on the outside are for alignment during installation of the actual base of the pallet changer. So if we ever remove the pallet changer from the table, then we can use these features to line it back up to the milling machine. Now I'm going to show you some other things that we use these pallets for. We use this pallet as our like tooling fixture plate. So it's got a bunch of threaded holes in it and also pin holes for alignment of uh, whatever we want to put on there. It could be a vise, it could be just screwing down stuff. So we use this in place of clamping down to the table and it allows us to keep the pallet changer on the table at all times. This used to be our vise holding fixture and so it got a lot of use and you can see what it looks like when it's been used a lot. This is our new vise holding fixture so it's dedicated to just holding the vise so we don't have to switch it out with anything else. We've got fewer holes, it's got a slot in the middle that fits into the slot of this Girardi vise and here you can see the underside again with the alignment features to the base. And also here you can see the alignment features on the sides that allow us to line up the base if we've removed the base. And there's also some underneath here. But with the vise, most of the time we're lining everything up to the jaws of the vise anyways. This next pallet holds our four jaw chuck. We can use it to hold round items or square items, rectangular, whatever that's usually kind of long and tall or small that the can't hold in the vise. And so it's very easy to drop down on the pallet base and then we can have a versatile holder for items. And it's uh, it's been the base has been machined to hold specifically just this four jaw chuck and um, it reduces the amount of time that we've spent in the past to switch over between the vise and the four jaw chuck whenever we needed to use the four jaw chuck or the vise. And here you can see again the alignment features that attach on to the pallet base. So these are all of our systems that we use currently and it's not expensive to buy more if we need.